Hi, I'm Amir Hussain, Mirza Buzurg, and in this video I want to talk about damage analysis in Abacus based on CDM. CDM is the abbreviation of Continuum Damage Mechanics. This is the table of content. I will talk about complete stress strain curve including damage domain, several concepts of damage analysis, methods for damage analysis in FE models, damage simulation in tensile test, and element deletion concept. And I will talk about force displacement curve, types of damage propagation, comparison of progressive damage and instantaneous damage, and element deletion settings. In many engineering problems, material goes beyond its ultimate stress, so the material enters its damage region. At this case, damage must be introduced to the mechanical behavior of the material. There are several examples. Simulation of anti-missile armors, simulation of a structure subjected to blast loadings and explosion, simulation of car accident, simulation of machining and drilling process, simulation of cutting process, simulation of tensile test, simulation of delamination in adhesive joints, and simulation of crack propagation. In this video, I will talk about simulation of tensile test. This is a typical complete stress strain curve of a ductile metal. This is the elastic region, this is the plastic region, and this is the damage region. And this is the ultimate point. As the material is reached to this point, if we increase the loading, the material goes to the damage region. This is the damage initiation point, and after the damage initiation point, the material goes to the damage region, and finally, it is completely failed. In the damage region, a parameter is defined that is damage parameter. Damage parameter is equal to zero in the damage initiation point, and it is equal to 1 in the complete failure point. In the damage region, the Young's modulus of the material decreases. And as you can see, the loading capacity of the material decreases too. If you want to perform damage analysis in the abacus, you must define the damage initiation criteria and damage evolution. In this picture, I have defined ductile damage model and it is a type of damage initiation criteria. And I have defined damage evolution for this model. You can define damage evolution from the sub option and here this is the sub option and its settings. We have two types of damage evolution based on displacement or energy. There are two different methods for damage analysis in FE models. One of them is based on fracture mechanics and the other one is based on continuum damage mechanics or CDM. XFEM, CZM and VCCT are based on fracture mechanics. And some damage models like hashing damage, ductile damage, shear damage, and famous Johnson Cook damage are based on continuum damage mechanics. Now I want to talk about the damage analysis of tensile test. Here I have modeled a tensile test in 2D space. Here I have defined the fixed boundary condition and here I have defined the displacement control loading. In this frame, the damage is initiated here. And in this frame, some of the elements are 
removed from the simulation because they are damaged completely. And here, because of the extra loading, the specimen is divided into two pieces. This is the load displacement curve that corresponds to the simulated tensile test. This frame corresponds to this point. This frame corresponds to this point and this frame corresponds to this point. And I want to show you the relationship between this curve and these frames in the abacus. This is the last frame of the von Mises stress contour of the simulation. I have defined the displacement of this edge and the force applied to the specimen as history outputs. Now I define XY data from these history outputs. Now I want to combine these data to get the load displacement curve. I use the operate on XY data. Here I use the combine operator and I select these data and save them. And this is the load displacement curve. Now I define another viewport and I put them vertically near each other. And I change it to the contours. Here I want to animate this result and this result simultaneously. At first these elements are in their elastic region and then they enter to the plastic region and finally they enter to the damage region and some of the elements are removed and then all of the elements of this region are removed. Here you can see the extra deformation of the elements. It's because of the damage propagation and softening. Elements are removing. Damage starts from the center and propagates to each side.
Here I go back to the slides. We have two types of damage propagation. The first one is progressive damage and the second one is instantaneous damage. In the progressive damage, after the damage is initiated, as the load is increased, it is completed gradually and not instantaneously. I have used the progressive damage in the simulation of tensile test and you have seen that the elements are damaged gradually and not suddenly. In the instantaneous damage, after the damage is initiated, it is completed instantaneously. If you want to define instantaneous damage, you must enter zero for displacement at failure or fracture energy. As I said before, we have two types of damage evolution based on displacement or based on fracture energy. If you select each of them, you must set them equal to zero. And for defining progressive damage, you must enter a value greater than zero, for example, one. The unit of this value is equal to the unit of length in your model. In this picture, the blue curve corresponds to the progressive damage model and the brown curve corresponds to the instantaneous damage model. And here you can see that as the damage is initiated, the loading capacity suddenly drops. But here it's decreasing gradually. And the elastic behaviors are the same and the plastic behaviors are the same and even the damage initiation points are the same. But when the damage is started, the damage propagation behaviors are different because we have entered different damage evolution values. The pink curve corresponds to the instantaneous damage model and the purple curve corresponds to the progressive damage curve. And here you can see that this value is much smaller than this value because we have defined instantaneous damage for the pink curve. And this is the elastic region and this is the plastic region. This stress is the von Mises stress and this strain is the equivalent plastic strain. Its variable in abacus is PEEQ. In the next video, settings of element deletion are explained in more details. Actually, damage can be completed in an element without element removal too. In addition, you can change an element setting to be deleted faster or slower than the other damaged element. You can contact me by using Telegram or WhatsApp or you can send email to me. We can have one-on-one -on -one tutoring on the AnyDesk, WhatsApp, and I can make a special videos to your order. We can perform high-quality simulations for your physics exercises and industrial projects. Thank you for watching this video. Goodbye.